If you or a loved one was injured, learn about your options. Do you guys know that we have options? Huffman and Huffman Brothers-in-Law are here to help you and your family to make these decisions. Let's welcome Brad Huffman. Hello, how are you? How are nice you? Welcome to you guys. <laughs> yes, we have a lot of questions for you because who needs a lawyer all the time, right? Everybody needs a lawyer. So Brad, why should we hire a personal injury lawyer? Yeah, so if you're injured in an accident, the insurance company is going to try to give you a very quick settlement so that they're off the hook. And that's before you know the extent of the, your injuries. So it's always a good idea to contact an attorney to get some advice and then let them represent you to make sure that you get fair compensation for your, your case. Yeah. Very, very, it really is so important to do that. Because yeah. the person doesn't have experience dealing with an auto accident they don't know what the value of the case is they're not sure what their rights are true and so you should call an attorney and, and and know your rights and know you know that you're protected yeah you know protection is definitely uh the highest of importance now when you're in an accident brad what questions should potential clients look to ask uh for a personal injury lawyer you know well you you first want to find out you know make sure that it's not your fault Mm -hmm. uh, you want to gather evidence at the scene if you can. And what I mean by that is you want to see if there are any witnesses to the accident. So that way we can get their name, their telephone numbers and, and get a statement from them so that they can help with the claim. And, you know, they really should ask a lot of questions about, you know, the value of the case or what to do. If I have an injury, you know, what should I do? Uh, there's a lot of little issues involved with that, too. Mm -hmm. So it's right. just a good idea to get some advice, advice right from the very beginning of the mm -hmm. case. Okay. Now, in general, say you're driving down the road, you get into a pretty bad accident. Yeah. How do you know if you have a case or not? Well, you talk to a lawyer <laughs> <laughs> and the lawyer can advise you on that. Typically, uh, in an accident, one of the parties are going to be charged with a traffic offense. And that'll give you a pretty good idea right there who's at fault. And then that's when you want to talk to an attorney uh, to, to make sure that you are protected. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, that's true. And also when you, you, you're involved in an accident, you know, nervous, everything comes to play. When you find out that you really have a case after you, uh, you spoke to the lawyer, uh, what is the process like? Yeah, and so actually, uh, Trish, you brought up a really good point because when the accident happens, most of the time you've got your adrenaline going mm -hmm. and, and you don't even realize a lot of times if you're injured or how badly you're injured. It's not till 48 hours later when things settle down. Right. Um, but once they do that, that's when you want to talk to the attorney to get advice on, you know, how to proceed with that. Yeah. And I say that I comment that because, you know, I speak Spanish. I'm a Spanish speaker. So when I'm nervous, mm -hmm. I'm like, uh, my English just go away on my mind. Yes. So I'm very nervous. And the first thing that you think is like, uh, I'm in trouble. You know? <laughs> well, I'm yeah. going to have to call a lawyer. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just, yeah, you, you just want to make sure you're protected. Mm -hmm. uh, the insurance companies, typically what they're going to do is contact you right away. Right. And they're going to try to get you to give them a statement. Okay. And they're going to try to get you to say something that could really hurt that case. Right. So you always want to talk to an attorney first and, and let the attorney handle that. Yeah. You be careful yeah. what you say to the insurance company. Yeah, you know, and I think people can trust you guys, obviously, because you're a family business and you've been in business for how long? Yeah, um, 50 years. 50 wow. years. Wow. Yeah, yeah. my brother, uh, Charlie, just got a uh, certificate or an award from the Virginia State Bar for 50 nice. years of continuous service. So and I've been doing it close to that long, but I, I still have a few years to go. OK. Congratulations to your brother. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Nice. But, but it is a family practice and, and we really do, you know, we treat our clients uh, like family. We really want to look out for them. We want to protect them. We want to do a good job for them. Do you guys have always that uh, people that speak Spanish in your office? We have one person now that uh, speaks it uh, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And, and we're always looking. We do hire uh, interpreters to come in when we okay. need them. But Perfect. 
Nice, yeah. nice. Well, we, uh, Brad, we certainly appreciate you stopping by. You guys have a memorable uh, jingle. So everybody, every time they see the commercial, they hear it, they know it. So uh, yes. thank you for stopping by with Huffman Elf. Yes. Thank you guys very much. I thank really appreciate it. Thank you so much, it. Brad. Thank you. Good to All see right. you.